So I'm trying to figure out how to actually create, uh, remove these chamfers from this. I want that. I want those to be to, to go away. I'm trying to figure out the best way. Let's look at this from the uh, top, just so you can understand what we're looking at. Um, so that's uh, perspective off. So you can see that one, we're at an angle. Two, it's actually, uh, it's actually, it's 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 kind of tapered in. So it's not. There's no right angles here. So I'm trying to get rid of this. These these different bevels. So let me show you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to add, add a texture to it. Okay, and then I'm going to hide it. And that's that's my reference so that you can know that we can, we can check it later. So uh, we'll go in here, and uh, this is the best way I figured out to do it. So I'm going to take, I have to go to each one of these lines. I'm going to take uh, this line right here, and I'll hold the T, or I'll, the move key. And I'm going to hold the Alt key down as I move this, right? So I'm going to drag. Notice it doesn't allow me to drag. When I hold the Alt, I can do it. And that, once I get to this perpendicular plane, then I'm going to hold the Shift key down. Now the Shift key is locked in. Then I'm going to get on that point right there. So that kind of marks it out there. Now let's try again. We're going to select this edge. And we're going to get the Move tool and hold the Alt key down. And once we get to this, we hold the Shift key down. Oops. Once we get to our, our, actually, let's turn it a little, get a little better view of it here. There. Now we've got that purple. Hold the shift key down, and then we'll get on the green, on the green light, and we're good. Okay, let's go do this one real quick. Uh, that one, and we're gonna hold the move key and the alt. Let's get it. Let's, uh, Get it to go purple. There it is. Hold the shift key down once it does that. Drag it down. Deselect it. And then grab this one. And we're going to do the same. Again, we hold the alt key, alt key down so we can move it off axis. Once we get to that purple. Let's see. There it is. There. Then I hold the shift key down. And then I go back to that little green dot. And there we go. Now, of course, next we're going to want to. Go to our use our eraser tool and erase these lines here. And I'm pretty sure that if I erase these, yeah. So these are this there's some kind of uh, looks like I've got some kind of issue going on over here. Let's see, yeah. So I got more there. So well, let's take a look and see how this looks uh, when I un ungroup this other ungroup and hide. I think we can see we're pretty much dead on though. We do have, we have introduced a few of these artifacts. So let's uh, hide this again. And let's see if I can take take this and this. Oops. Uh, sorry. I just want, I just want to get these faces here. And I'm going to use. Once I have those faces, I'm going to use this planer button and say, okay, best. And then I think I should be able to delete these now. We're good. Okay. So that's it. That's that's the quick, uh, quick and dirty. Uh, take a quick look at this unhide. We'll see that it looks like we're in pretty good shape there. It looks like we're matching it completely. Except here, it might be just a little bit off, but not much. If it is off, it surely isn't much. You can see as we get close to that. Looks pretty darn right. So, yeah, looks good. Looks about perfect. Okay, thanks. Bye.